Customers regular, July 4th, 2013. Very sweet, grainy smell. And it's definitely got a lot of carburation, carbonation. You get a sweet, grainy smell. Typical corn, typical smell of an American lager. They're pretty much the same, though I've learned that they taste a little different if you pay attention to them. Where it's cold, it's got a pretty darn good head for a macro lager. Uh, looks pretty good. Oh yeah, this is definitely a good beer. Ranks pretty highly among me with the... Mm. Yeah, you get a sweet smell or a sweet taste. Corn. a rather good beer. This is the 24 ounce commemorative can, 98 commemorative can, banquet beer brewed in Golden, Colorado with 100% Rocky Mountain water. Uh, pride in your work, like his father George, Dave Vanola, works for Coors Brewing Company out here in Golden, Colorado, Colorado so for him it's not a job, it's a legacy. One of the hard work and a product you can stand behind. That's why we have worked here for a combined 49 years. Half a century of making Coors Banquet a bit of this year. My fathers and sons, just like George and Dave. Taking pride in your work, that's how legends are made. On the legend, the legend banquet since 1873, brewed in Golden Colorado. I do admit this is a pretty good a beer. Coors is always a bit of a staple of mine. What better way to do a 4th of July review than with an American classic Coors. Coors has been around a very freaking long time and it's why it deserves a very good staple in my refrigerator. It's been, a, it's been unreasonably warm here for July. It's been in the hundreds. We're usually only in the 80s. Heat's been taking a toll on everything. Nice change of pace though, because the winter was cold as hell. <laughs> I like the color of this cores. Very deep yellow. See through yellow. Golden yellow. Just about the right temp for me too. Oh yeah, you get this cold enough, you get icing. Huh, that's a really good beer. Well, there ain't this whole can. <laughs> Might be a little longer of a video. At the right temperature, it has a very sweet, corny smell. A corny taste, a sweet corny taste. Slight breadiness, almost like a hamburger bun. Sweet gourmet hamburger bun. This is a delicious beer. I will admit that much. Golden Coors Banquet Brewery. Banquet beer. Golden Colorado Coors Brewery.
is delightful stuff. I would argue to say it's better than corn white. Of course, though, most regular beers are better than the light beers. I'm not a huge light beer fan. And I'm not a real huge light beer fan. Though I do like Coors Light. Coors Light ain't half bad. But the majority of the light beers miss, mark, miss the mark. Head dissipates rather rapidly, but that's to be expected with American macro lovers. Heads never stick around really in there. This doesn't taste too much too much different from the third shift amber lager, in my opinion. Although the amber lager is sweeter, I like the third shift amber lager. I'll have to do a review of that. I mostly drink macro macro lagers because the other stuff is so freaking hard to find around here. It's expensive. I can find it. Just expensive. I don't really like paying five or six dollars. Well, let's see. I don't really like spending about thirteen dollars in a six pack of Sam Adams. So liquor store can drive the price up. Because for full strength beer in Utah, you have to go to the liquor store, and it's usually quite expensive. Liquor store price gouges things to make money. It's unfortunate how it works here in Utah, but good deal with it. A lot of the stupid 3.2%, which this course is 3.2%, it isn't the regular 5%. 3.2% law was enacted by. Uh, the Utah legislature, because they were Mormon, they figured that they could uh, lower the beer percentage here. You have to go to a liquor store in order to get anything above 3.2 percent. Though some, though Walmart does sell 4 percent Uinta and um, uh, Squatters products, which is a local brewery. You went is a pretty good brewery. I like to feature some of those products and some of Squatters. Squatters makes a good Captain Bastard up the slot. But Coors isn't bad. I like Coors. At the right temperature. This stuff is dreadful warm. I remember being just drunk enough to drink this shit warm. <laughs> it wasn't, uh, I was too drunk to even care. It probably tasted cold to me, but my tastes aren't remembrance from when I'm drunk usually. Still got a really good carbonation. I like beers with carbonation, makes them look pretty. Pretty. This is a really good beer. See nothing wrong with cores. I'm starting to get into it. You kind of get a watery smell after the head dissipates. Yeah. Alcohol by weight, three point two percent maximum vented mouth. Utah, yeah, Utah makes those 3.2 percent. Well, this has been a review on cores regular.
Banquet L, basically. Banquet. And, uh, it's American Micro Lager. I definitely give this a shot if you haven't already. Don't like it, which I can understand because everybody has different taste. But this has been my review, and I'd give it about an, an 85. <coughs> Excuse me. Cheers.